Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. My name is Ashley and if you didn't know, I own my own cardstock warehouse. And the number one question that I always get is if I'll ever carry patterned scrapbook paper. And I'm going to tell you right now, the answer is no. So there are two reasons why I will never sell patterned scrapbook paper inside my cardstock warehouse. One of which is because it is low quality. Have you ever touched patterned cardstock before? That stuff is flimsy and cuts terribly inside your Cricuts if that's what you're using. Now, the other thing to that is that designs are limited and it's not gonna be for everyone. So I have a couple of pieces of scrapbook paper here with me and I need you to be honest. Is this something that you would buy? Probably not everyone and that's okay. Although this design is beautiful, not everyone's gonna buy it. That being said, something like this, what happens if you're a crafter and you're looking for an ice cream scrapbook paper? You see this and you're thinking, gosh, I kinda really wish that these were a little bit bigger or that it was a different color. Well, I'm here to give you the solutions of the two reasons why I would not even carry this into my shop. First and foremost, like I said, it is thin. Why buy thin paper? when we can just customize plain white cardstock that's nice and thick into our own scrapbook paper. That's right, I took a 10 pack of my plain white cardstock and I created my own 12 inch scrapbook paper. Do you see this right here? This is customized exactly the way that I wanted it to be. So not only do I have this, I have this right here. And I actually printed this on my light gray plain cardstock, but look at this. This is bluey. Can you find bluey scrapbook paper at the craft stores? I know you're not gonna find them in my cardstock warehouse. However, we can customize these and print our own scrapbook paper. I also printed some Legos, 12 inch cardstock, or even a cute little floral that I found on a off a website. The other thing too is what about patterned glitter cardstock, which is something I get asked a lot. Can you sell patterned glitter cardstock? I can tell you right now that all you need to do is pick up some of my original white glitter cardstock. This stuff is freaking gorgeous. Now, I would not say that my glitter cardstock is a printable glitter cardstock. However, if you have a sublimation printer, we can create our own sublimation designs. Yeah, I made all of these with my glitter cardstock and my sublimation printer. Look at how stinking gorgeous all of this turned out. And frankly, if there is a cardstock color shade that you can't find, you can even create your own custom colors. Yeah, I created these with my sublimation printer. That's insane, right? Now I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom scrapbook paper because honestly, it is not hard at all. And once you get started on doing this, you're probably never gonna want to go and buy pattern cardstock ever again, which is exactly what I want you to do. Don't buy the pattern cardstock. What you need to do is buy high quality, thick, plain cardstock and just print your own, customizing them to exactly the way that you want. Now, let me show you how we're gonna take some plain cardstock and we're gonna turn it into something absolutely beautiful. One of my absolute favorite websites to go and get backgrounds for printing my own scrapbook paper is going to be creativefabrica.com. All you need to do is go over into graphics and then go down to backgrounds. So if you have a background in mind, you could definitely just search for it, but I seriously love just going here and sifting through the almost 3,000 results that you could download. Other places like Makers Gonna Learn website or even Etsy.com also has seamless backgrounds that you could use creating your own scrapbook paper. Once you've found the background that you're wanting to use, all you need to do is come over here and press download. The next thing you wanna do is open up a word processor that's on your computer, or you could use Canva if you pay for Canva. And all you wanna do is just create a new document. Now at this point, what you want to do is resize your page to the page that you are gonna be printing. So for me, it's gonna be my 12 inch cardstock. So what I'm gonna do is come up to file and do page setup. And I'm gonna make sure that the printer I'm using is going to be selected. I'm also going to change my paper size over. 
to the 12 by 12 inch. Then I am just gonna press okay. So this white square right here is going to be my 12 inch cardstock. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is find the download of the background that I've chosen. And then all I'm gonna do is select my download and drop it into my word processor. Now what you can do is resize this to the size that you need. And then all we have to do is print this. So we're gonna Command P, which is print. Now for my particular document, it says that I have two pages, but really I only am printing one. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm only gonna print the one page. I'm gonna go down to paper handling and make sure that I scale to fit my paper size and that I am printing on my 12 inch paper. Then what I'm gonna do is go down to printer options and I'm gonna make sure and set my media and quality to my cardstock setting and then press okay. When you have all that done, now all you need to do is just press print. After it's done printing, you will have your own custom patterned scrapbook paper. Isn't this so freaking cool? And it's on nice high quality cardstock versus that really flimsy stuff that you would get at the craft store. I absolutely love using this hack to create designs that I want. You are gonna be able to customize every single piece of scrapbook paper that you use by just taking a bit of plain cardstock or sublimation glitter cardstock and customizing it to exactly what you need. No longer forcing yourself to just settle for the small designs that they do have being sold in the craft store. I hope I inspired you to create y'all and I'll see you later.